Yo, what up, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series. Yes, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a clean mix. Yes, get a clean mix um, in your home studio or wherever you are doing your studio. Okay, so without wasting my time, please, if you are new to the channel and you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe to support your boy. And if you are old here and you've not yet subscribed to, but you have been enjoying my videos, to please subscribe. And if you don't like whatever I'm doing here, please just leave. Okay, without wasting my time, let's just get into the video. Trust me, your time will never be wasted. So getting a clean mix, I always tell you that it starts from the foundation, you get it. How you record your vocals matters a lot. If you are not recording your vocals properly, trust me, you are not going to get a clean mix as you wish it. Um, as you wish, you get it. So trust me, each and every time you are doing your vocal mixing, um, no, you are uh, recording your vocals, make sure that you record it right. You don't blast your vocals, you get it. I mean, you don't have to be recording and getting signals like this, not... Let me do something like this. Signals like this. You get some like something like this. You don't even have space here because when you add other effects to it, you are not going to, going to get what you want. Because when you add the effect to it, automatically it is going to um, add some frequency volume to it. You get it. Going to add some volume to it when you add those um, effect to it. So you have to make sure that you record it in a way that you'll be having some spaces over there so that. Whenever effects are added to it, it was whenever the volumes are added, then it wouldn't be blasting, it wouldn't be distorting. You get it, yes. So learn how to record properly and know how to set you. If you are using sound card, um, then you have to know how to set your input gain and everything. Whenever the person, you don't have to set it to a specific place whereby you not go there and change it each and every time. Sometimes, um, the artist recording the vocals will actually get closer to it and shout whereby um it will be blasting so you have to know how to control it. if the person is shouting or i mean recording at a, a very loud volume then you have to make sure you bring it down at that time if the person doesn't sing or sing or rap uh, at a very high volume then you have to bring it up so you know how to do that you don't have to say that this is how i've said it that's or oh, nah it doesn't work that way okay so let's listen to this vocals here and after that i'll show you how i process it to get what we're having here so the vocals without the beat, that's what we have. Stop, yeah. so giving up, now he's out of my mind. But guess what, when the line is up. Beast mode, when I turn into venom, the beat rolls. When I'm giving this rhythm, my own prime, on my own grind. But this is my period to flow again. Man, I'm back now, I'm with me again. Like Michael Jarrett, call me Mike Tyson. I'm dangerous in this, like Michael Jackson. I moonwalk, but I never go back. It's not about the mic, it's what I got in me. The feelings, the flow, the sound and energy. It's not about the rap, it's what I do in them. The time and the punch, the buzz and comfort up. Beast mode, when I turn into... You can actually hear that it's sound clean with the beat. This is how it goes. Stop. Beast mode when I turn into venom. The beat rolls when I'm given this rhythm. My own prime on my own grind. But this is my period to flow again. Man, I'm back now with me again. Like Michael Jarrett, call me Mike Tyson. I'm dangerous in this like Michael Jackson. I moonwalk, but I never go back. It's not about the mic. It's what I got in me. The feelings, the flow, the sound and energy. It's not about the rap. It's what I do in them. The time and the punch, the buzz and comfort up nice one you get it you can hear the beat you can hear that it fits and this is a clean mix you get it so first of all if you are listening to the raw vocals without any effect on it you can hear this how it sound beast mode when i turn into venom the beach rolls when i'm giving this rhythm my own prime on my own grind but this is my period to flow again man i'm back now with me again like michael jarrett call me mike tyson i'm dangerous something nice so what i did is um first of all i did EQ those frequencies which I didn't like, so I cut the low uh, ends around 111 hertz, then cut some of the bad frequencies out. If you have been following my tutorials, actually, I don't like boosting mo most of the frequencies, but this time around, I boost the high ends here just to get it, um, it clarity more. I wanted to feel it more than just, um, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I wanted to, um, I wanted the vocals to actually be in your face, you get, get those bright vocals. I didn't want it to, I didn't want it to sound like muddy or something like that so to get those kind of um bright vocals you have to be boosting the high ends and the rest if you have been following me I don't like to boost my vocal but this time around I boost it because it's a rap song which doesn't have too much melodies in it you get it so you have to feel what the person is saying you get it so you have to just get yes to and listen so doing that I have to boost the high ends so that um the vocals will be taking over everything whereby the drums and everything will be giving it groove so i caught 
I used the EQ to cut the bad frequencies out and I boosted the high ends just to get um, the clarity. Yes. And the next one is um, compressor. So I've been telling you guys the compressor to uh, compress the dynamics, the low dynamics and the high dynamics. You get it? Um, if your vocals weren't, um, if somebody is talking or recording vocals, actually, you, you cannot speak at the same frequency volume. You get it? Some parts will be higher than this. So if you look at this waveform here this part is actually down than this part and this part this part you get it there are some dynamism in it so to get it at an at an even volume we use the compressor to do that so that's what the compressor is actually doing so get mixing is all about cleaning you get it cleaning things and making things sound okay so i want it to play at an even volume it shouldn't be whereby some some parts will be playing higher than the other so without the compressor and with the eq on it that's how it sounds Okay, let me play this part. Stop beast mode when I turn into venom. The beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own prime. You can see when I'm giving this rhythm was going down, whereby the beast mode was actually up. Beast mode when I turn into venom. The beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own. So when I put the compressor on it now, now listen to how it sounds. Stop beast mode when I turn into venom. The beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own prime. So you can see that there was still a slight. I mean, you know what I'm talking about? A slight decrease in it. So this is the setting that I did. So because I didn't want uh, my only one compressor to do that, I wanted I don't want one compressor to take all the load. So whenever it happened like that, I still keep it because it has actually compressed it to a little bit, uh, a little bit for me. Compress it a little bit for me. So I have to move on and make sure that I did some cleaning. And after cleaning, and if those um, cleaning doesn't affect the dynamism, then I have to still use a compressor to make even if it affects it i still use a compressor to make sure that i'm getting those even volume getting so this is the setting that i use uh, my threshold around negative 24 my um, ratio around negative 2.56 then attack this and release so i touch everything here the attack release ratio and threshold i i, I did touch it so this is what i'm having now then the next thing is the suggest to remove the semblances and i'm using far filter so i cut it around negative 40. yes because i boosted the high ends there were too much um semblances in it so i have to use the dsa to take it them off so listening to it this is what we have Stop. beast mode when i turn into venom the beach rolls when i'm giving this rhythm my own prime on my own grind but this is my period to flow again man i'm back now with me again okay then the next one is the git you know the gate to block those kind of background noises and the rest yes so this gate is blocking the background noises for me and i'm using far filter so everything that i'm using here is far filter except the last compressor which is from waves you get it yes so the next one is um waves compressor and let's see how the rhythm something something sound <laughs> Up. Beast mode when I turn into venom, the beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own prime on my own grind. So you can see that now it sound okay. It doesn't sound like it is. So when I take this compressor off, this is how it sound. Up. Beast mode when I turn into venom, the beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own. When I'm giving this rhythm, you can see that that part was still going down a little bit. You get it. So when this compressor comes inside, and this is the settings, I put the gain around 40. Then my um, peak reduction around 52.58 and uh, I did touch this to 52.5. That's all I did. So you can, when this thing is on, listen to the peak rhythm or something, something. Listen. Stop. Beast mode when I turn into venom. The beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own prime. When I'm giving this rhythm, you can see that now it sounds okay with the rest. But if I take the compressor off, listen, listen again. Up. Beast mode when I turn into venom. The beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own. You can see when I'm giving this rhythm, like it was going down. So you have to listen to your song attentively whenever you are doing your mix, and listen to the this when the compressor is on. Up. Beast mode when I turn into venom. The beach rolls when I'm giving this rhythm my own prime on my own. You can see that yes, now it sound okay with everything. The low dynamism, uh, the the low dynamic range and the high dynamic range are actually playing at an even volume now. You get it. So to create spaces for it, then you create an FX and you know how to create FX in uh, Cubase. Just click on this and right click on this place and um, right click here. Then you select add FX channel. Then you select the plugin that you actually want to use. So for reverb and delay, I created FX and and I'm putting it on this this time around. I didn't I didn't put anything on the group. You got it. I didn't send it to the group. I just put everything straightforward. Then 
whenever i'm putting it straight forward i use mono because i'm recording in mono so i put mono plugins on it i don't put stereo plugins on it you get it yes so whenever i'm sending it this is how i send so i sent i created an fxm for reverb delay and also um saturation over here so for the reverb for the reverb there's the settings i actually cut some of the low ends i didn't actually do anything on it then i brought my decay down to 2.46 and i'm not putting too much of reverb on it because it's a wrap so around negative 20.60 it's okay for me so with the reverb on it this is how it sound my own grind but this is my period to flow again man i'm back now with me again without the reverb like michael jarrah coming mike tyson i'm dangerous and with the reverb on it and this like michael jackson the moonwalk but i never go back it's so you can actually hear that the reverb create some space for the vocals and the beat to actually merge together you get it and the next thing is the delay i didn't want to my delay on it so i brought the dry down a little bit my feedback around this and uh quarter notes yes i use the quarter note so with the delay on it this is how it sound i didn't want to my delay so i didn't put too much of it yeah on these vocals stop beast mode when i turn it to venom the beach rolls when i'm giving this ready so something small if your speakers or your headset is actually right you can hear it ready my own prime on my own grind you get it now yes and i wanted to saturate it but i didn't want to put it straight on it because it will be taking too much of it and i didn't want it i just wanted a little bit of saturation so i just do the fx send and I made sure that um, I brought the drive all the way down like this, yes. And uh, with that one on it, this is how it sounds. Stop, beast mode when I turn it to venom, the beat rolls when I'm giving this. Without that. And this ready, my own prime, on my own grind. But this is my period to flow again, man, I'm back now with me again. Yes, so with everything on it, this is how it sounds together with the beat. Stop, beast mode when I turn it to venom, the beat rolls when I'm giving this ready, my own prime, on my own grind. But this is my period to flow again, man, I'm back now with me again. Yes, so this is how I actually... Uh, make this to get a clean mix make sure your recording is okay then um how you treat your frequency with the eq matters a lot and uh, your compression also my everything matters here so it depends on you how you want it to sound just try and practice more you'll be perfect with it you get it this your boy can see you straight from busy home beat i hope your time was never wasted please subscribe like and also comment to this video if you don't like whatever i'm doing just leave thank you i'm out